What's up guys, Jez here from Whisker Fight and welcome to another episode of Whisker Fight TV, your weekly whiskey TV show where I pop bottles and I tell you guys what I think of them. Uh, we are episode 115 and it'll kind of be a really sad episode because this will be the last one you guys will see me being at this bar, but there might be a slight change, who knows, we'll see. I know what's coming, you guys don't. Maybe there might be some more guests, maybe there won't, who knows. But yeah, sad, sad episode for 115, but we're doing something nice. Well, I think it's nice, because I tried it, I'm like, eh, it's nice. Um, it is the Jim Beam Signature Craft Small Batch. I wouldn't say this is kind of like a super exciting bottle to do for my last episode before I go on a cheeky little hiatus, but I think it's one of those things where it's like I... Jim Beam holds like a very interesting part in my life. Hello, Miss Cleo. Cleo's just come and joined us for uh, Whiskey Wednesday. Um, let me pop this sucker and I'll get it poured out. So, pop was better than last week. Last week it was a bit sketch. So, oh, Denver and Lily Glass on point tonight too. So, don't spill it. Oh, God, that gave me anxiety. Because <sighs> I had five episodes and then I spilt it and then we we're back down to one. So we are at two and we'll keep this party rolling. So 86 proof, 43%, 12 years old. Cost me about 70 bucks Aussie. Uh, $40 American. New charred American oak and the mash bill is 75% corn, 13% rye and 12% malted barley, I believe. I don't really have a definite piece of information on that but that is majority of the beam mash bills so that is what i'm going to go with and like the super funky stuff obviously becomes like undisclosed or it's something something else so let me run through the notes and we'll keep it rolling beam is on the forefront of innovation or that's what the back of the bottle tells me anyway this uh oh. see this is this is why you don't add lip. You, you just go with the script and everything rolls. So that says Beam is on the forefront of innovation on the back of this Beam signature craft 12 year bottle. Uh, part of Beam's small batch collection, this juice is masterfully blended, like the word, it's uh, marketing, I believe, from small batches of 12 year old barrels specially selected for the program. From personal experience, it's rare to have a small batch program that uses 12 year old barrels, uh, especially if it hits like Aussie Shores as well, because we don't really have uh, small batch programs that carry an age statement. It's funny you mentioned that because uh, Knob Creek dropped the age statement from their bottles, as you guys could probably see behind me here. This is an old bottle, I can't even tell you when I picked this up, but they dropped it uh, from, I guess their uh, bottling line, the labels, and then it's kind of just come back online recently now because they're able to provide nine-year-old stock again. Hey, good on them, they can put it back on there, everyone's happy, I'm sure everyone wins at the end of the day. That's what we want, everyone to win uh yeah that's that's about it so let me crack into these notes because i am moving through it and we're only four minutes in so this one should go nice and quick for you guys i won't keep you too long for your uh whiskey wednesday so straight off the bat is there some cinnamon there hmm, interesting uh so your typical like rich butterscotches your caramels vanilla oak that kind of stuff, but it's also got this funky peanut brittle to it as well that I, I kind of enjoy, especially for like beam stuff. Like just nosing that, you're like, it's beam. I know that's beam. Mm. Now for the taste. Medium viscosity on it. It's kind of got like this. Good. 
like little hints of spice coating just covering the whole tongue. Super homely, get me a Kentucky hug there as well, just on that, that finish. Super warming, I like that. Uh, it's also got kind of like these, these toasty sugar notes just working its way over the tongue as well. Once again, really enjoyable. Uh, I'll go for the finish now. Mm. So just on that finish, you're really getting that charred oak, toasted sugars, and what I like to refer to as beam nuts. It's got a relatively long finish on it as well, but circling back to those beam nuts, that was, I was thinking about it. I wasn't thinking about the beam nuts, I was thinking about the long finish. Now we're at beam nuts. I kind of want to like coin a phrase here. I want to call them no nuts, like N-O-E, nuts, because Fred no. It's funny. Ha. I thought it was great. I wrote it down. Hopefully you guys think it's funny because, um, yeah, no nuts. Yeah. Hopefully you guys are laughing. It doesn't make me feel weird about it. So let me know in the comments, actually, if you guys laughed or if you didn't laugh or if I should retire because I may as well retire on 115, right? Like I've been here for over 100 episodes, 115 to be exact. It's great. Let's not get cancelled. Um, but yeah, let me break it down to the buy bar or pass. And then we can kind of go from there. So straight off the bat, a big nose with a heap of flavour. So as I said, those rich butterscotches, those vanillas, caramels, peanut brittle and oak. Really coming through on that nose, making it enjoyable. Very enjoyable. Uh, next one up is it's price right for 43% at five years. Uh, at, 12, at 12 years. <laughs> Price right for 43% at 12 years. Um, so for a good price comparison, 90 odd bucks for the Knob Creek small batch when it was carrying the nine year age statement on it. And that came in at about 100 proof. So we're not too far off that. A little bit longer, a little less proof. Still 86, can't go wrong. And the final one, you can kind of get those peanut fixes that you're craving, even if you are allergic to peanuts like me. I I won't die, I'm not anaphylactic. Anaphylactic? 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 That's the word. I've only had one of these today, and it's uh, early. So yeah, we get, we're getting it out of the way. Um, so yeah, you guys can get those peanut fixes even if you are anaphylactic, but I'm not a doctor, so I probably wouldn't recommend it. But I do recommend this drop as a buy. So hopefully you guys can pick it up for 40 bucks or 70 if you can find it because it's limited in Australia. I've only seen a few. I bought two bottles last time I saw it at 70. So hey, like, man, can't go wrong. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this Whiskey Wednesday video. Hopefully you enjoyed me reviewing this being small batch, please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, yeah, also let me know if you want a sample. Just um, drop it in the comments in Instagram, not on YouTube, on Instagram, maybe one for YouTube as well, but I struggle to get the samples out overseas. But yeah, let me know, because you know, hey, the best kind of juice is free juice, so maybe that should be the tagline for the show. Let me know. Thank you guys, love y'all. Hopefully enjoy your Whiskey Wednesday because I love you. Stay thirsty, I'm Jez, peace.